This new call browser use AI agent can help you build and automate anything. For example, if I say open up my browser and search the web for the latest AI news, what you can see on the left hand side here is it's navigating to google.com with the browser navigate MCP, which is completely free. And you can basically automate anything that you would do on the web using this free MCP. And in the next few minutes, you'll learn how to set up an AI that can browse the web, search for information, and post content automatically. You'll learn the secret way to connect Claude to both your browser and your computer files simultaneously and you'll discover exactly how to install the extension and configure the mcp server with zero technical knowledge and yes this is all working whilst i'm talking directly to you imagine having an ai system that can navigate websites build tools and access your local files all for free watch now to see how i built mine in just a few clicks today i'm going to show you how to basically automate anything with this brand new browser use agent so for example here we've got claude desktop open and if we say, okay, search my browser for the prices of the S and P 500, right? And essentially what we've got here is a MCP agent that can open our browser and then start using it. So as an example, here's an example. So we said, open my browser and check the price of the S and P 500, right? And you see here, it used browser navigate to have a look and search for that using our s &P. So let me show you an example. There we go, it's using Browser Navigate MCP. And then if we check in the background over here, you can see that it's actually navigated to Browser Use Agent. So it can use a browser in the background to navigate and search stuff. So if we go back inside here, I would say, okay, open my browser and check the latest headlines for AI news, right? And so we've got Claude Desktop over here and Claude Desktop is going to browse the web inside Claude Desktop and then give us the results, right? And I'll show you exactly how to set this up for free in a second. So it's now browsing the web. It's looking for AI news. You can see an example right here. It's pulling in those headlines and boom, we're good to go. Now it's browsing the web, navigating through Reuters.com. And again, this AI agent is not just easy to use it's also super fast and it's completely free to use so it's absolutely crazy how powerful it is and how easy it is to set up i'll show you how to set it up in a second but you can see essentially here's how it's working what it's doing etc it's navigating our browser looking at our browser in the background and searching for whatever we want so i'm just going to stop that for now but you see how easy this is to set up and now i'm going to run through exactly how to install it so if you want to install this bad boy Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to, let me show you here. We've got the notes inside the AI success lab. So you're going to go to docs.browsermcp.io. And this is basically a free MCP server that you can set up to browse your web. And it's using Claude Desktop to do it, right? So really easy and simple. And then you can click on install in the top right. And basically what you're going to get here is the MCP server configuration. Now, when you're setting this up, essentially you would just grab this code. So you can just copy this. I'll put it inside the AI success lab link in the comments description. If you want to get this stuff just for free, and you just want to steal it from me and copy and paste this stuff. There you go. So you can just copy and paste this if you want to. And essentially you're going to go into Claude, make sure you've got developer settings set on. So allow developer settings. Then you're going to click on developer, open MCP log file, and you can see the details of the MCPs you'll use it, right? Now inside Claude desktop, what you want to do is go over to Claude in the navigation menu. Then you're going to click on settings. And then inside your settings, you're going to go to developer and you can see the MCPs that I've got installed. Now, if you want to install MCPs on Claude desktop, pretty simple. So you edit the config file like this. You can just open it with text edit and then you can install whatever you want. So inside my settings, I have browser MCP set up. I also have Apple script set up as well. And I'll come on to exactly how these can work side by side because it's pretty crazy. And then we have the basic settings for MCP servers. Now, if you want to just steal that configuration from me, and again, these are all free MCPs. You don't have to pay for them. Then I will include that inside the AI success lab as well. So you can just steal my full MCP setup if you want to. All right. And what this can essentially allow you to do is not just navigate the web, but also navigate your actual 
computer as well. So let me show you exactly what we're doing here. Before we get onto that, what I also want to show you is inside your settings, once you've set up the MCP config file, so you're just going to hit save like that. You've got your MCP settings inside here. You're going to close that and then you would restart Claude and that's when it's going to trigger the MCP settings. So pretty easy and simple to set up. Once you've done this, we've now got two different MCP settings set up, right? So we've got Apple script and this can actually go straight inside your browser and start searching stuff. And then we also have, sorry, our Apple script can connect to your laptop so it can work internally with your laptop and everything that's on there. And then we also have browser use agent, which can then surf the web for us, right? So we can do internal and external, if that makes sense. And now you've allowed Claude to be like 10 times more powerful because it can interact with your laptop, it can interact with your browser, etc. Okay. So for example, here, if we say, okay, what's my battery percentage? It's going to use the Apple script MCP, as you can see here. And you see here, it says your battery is currently 96%. And we can see that is indeed 96% in the top right there. Right. So it's really easy to set this stuff up. Pretty crazy what you can do with it. And it really doesn't take a long time, right? All you have to do is allow the MCPs. Now, if you want a full setup on MCPs and how to build them, etc., I've also got another training inside the AI Success Lab. Link in the comments description if you just want to steal this stuff from me. But essentially, between the Apple Script MCP and the browser use MCP, you are absolutely flying, my friends. And it's incredibly easy to do. So let's keep going now. What we're going to do from here is we're going to go back into Claude and we'll pull up example of what we can do here so i'm now going to say okay open my browser post a cheeky tweet on twitter right and i'm just going to post this on a test twitter account not my main account right about i'm put about ai something like that so let's see if you can do that so using browser navigate to the twitter.com page and you can see it is doing that over here and then we just have to allow this mcp to use an external integration. So it says browser MCP, review each action carefully before approving. Claude can that guarantee, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to click allow always. Obviously you use this at your own risk, right? And now it's opening up Twitter and it's navigating as you can see right here. So this is the browse, the mouse that it's using to navigate around. It's going to compose a tweet. And what it's doing is actually, if we click on the browser navigate tool here, it's actually like taking screenshots and just figuring out what's going on. It's like, right, great. Now I can see the tweet composed. Our log is open. Let me type a cheeky tweet about AI. So also got a browser wait function. So that allows it to wait before it starts posting. Let's try something else. So we're going to say, okay, go to bolt.new and give me a prompt to build an SEO tool. So as you can see, it's now navigating to bolt.new. And then we've got the prompt that we can just check out, right? So it navigated to bolt.new, gave us the prompt, plugged it, and then we plug it in here to build out whatever tool we want, right? So you can use this AI agent to instruct other AI agents and navigate to them. And side by side, you can do some pretty powerful stuff. Now, also with the Apple script example, what we could even do, for example, is let's wait for that to load. So it's now coding out the tool. You see the code over here. It's doing the data visualization. And again, I haven't paid to use this tool at all. When you're setting up the extension as well, so you do need the Chrome extension, as you can see right here. And once you're setting that up, you just need to connect, right? So for example, if we go to my extensions, click on browser KPI, we can say connect from this tab or focus on one connected tab, etc. So that tool is now building out and it's pretty simple and easy. What we could also do is we could go back to Bolt. We can take an example app that we've already built out. What we can do is we could say to Apple Script, take a screenshot of my browser and then give me some ideas on how I can improve this app built in Spanish. See browser. So allow that to go. It's got a tool called Browser Screenshot. So it's taken the screenshot and then it gives us some ideas on how to improve it. 
switch to Spanish mode though for some reason, which is not ideal. I'm just gonna be transparent with you there. I was gonna say write in English. But it's basically taken a screenshot from the app that we've built, as you can see, inside bold.new here. And then it's given us some ideas on how we can improve that on the left hand side over here. Right? So you can read your screen, it can navigate, it can browse. It's not that great at interacting with social media platforms, to be honest with you, but you get an idea and a feel of like how powerful this can be. And also it can interact like directly inside your laptop as well, right? So if we go inside here, we're using the Apple script MCP, we could say, okay, give me the last three files in my downloads from the last 24 hours, something like that. And then I'm going to check your downloads folder for the most recent files from the last 24 hours using Apple script. It's setting up all the filters right here inside finder, as you can see. And also there's a bunch of different prompts you can actually use with Apple script. So if we go back inside a browser here, we'll go over to the Claude MCP section inside the ASSS lab. Then from here, we're just going to, for example, create one of these. So for example, show me all my files in my downloads folder for the past week. And you can see that's retrieved the information, right? So it's based on the information I've retrieved. Here are the most recent files downloaded in the last 24 hours. And then it's found the examples of Flow Whisper that she downloaded recently. And then we've also got two thumbnails for the live stream that I'm doing right now. And so like it can interact with your browser, with your local folders, and you're basically making an AI super agent that can interact with pretty much anything to get really good results, right? We've got a question from Dennis Yu, the legend, who says, can it make a list of all the podcasts I've been on, including yours? Let's have a look. I'm pretty sure it could do something like that quite easily. So let's try this out. We're going to say, right, open up my browser, find podcasts that Dennis Yu has been on recently. Something like that. Let's see if it can work its magic on this. So it's going to open up the browser as using browser navigate and it's searching on Google to do that. So if we go over here, you can see it's searching. And if we pull this to the right hand side, you can see it's navigating and checking the recent podcast appearances. All right. And then it's also searching Dennis Yu, podcast guest 2025, etc. You can see on the right hand side, this is Dennis Yu and his podcasts and on the left hand side. Here's a list of his recent podcasts. So let's pull this up and see if it's relevant. So it said recent Dennis Yu podcast appearances, 2025. Shout out to Dennis. The Ask My Advisor show, the local marketing secrets, speak with people, Neil Schaffer's podcast, etc. Even gives us the length as well. So let's just check that now. I'm just going to copy that and then plug it into Chrome. See if we can find that. There you have the podcast that it found, right? So this is the Dennis Hugh podcast that we were talking about with Neil Schaffer 10 months ago, so fairly recent. And that is definitely with Dennis Hugh, as you can see. So any basic stuff like that, anything that an executive assistant, for example, would do, this can now do. And, and it's automated. It's really fast to do. So super powerful. I think if you wanted a really comprehensive list, yeah, you could use deep research or something like that. I think there's a research option here. So you can just go inside Claude and research like that. But yeah, essentially that's how you can use the MCP to do research, to post tweets for you, to check bolt.new, to check your apps and rebuild them, etc. Pretty much anything that you can think of, you can now do with these MCPs and the interact both locally and also directly on the internet as well. It's crazy. They're liberated and autonomous. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to all the video notes from today, feel free to get that inside the AI success lab link in the comments and description completely free you can get all the notes from here you can get the code that i've used to set all of this up it is free to use inside claude and then additionally if you want to upgrade and get for example an amazing community focused on making more money and saving time with ai feel free to get that link in the comments and description to the ai profit boardroom basically if you want coaching if you want support if you want help implementing all this stuff then feel free to check this out. This is an amazing supportive community of great people who will focus on growing their business and scaling with AI. So link in the comments and description to the AI Profit Boardroom as well. And if you want to just get the free video notes plus links to everything, feel free to get that inside the AI Success Lab.